Brian Johnson says he's the healthiest person in the world with the best biomarkers in the world. I am the healthiest person on planet Earth. But I analyzed Brian Johnson's biomarkers and I found that out of 65 of them, 44 of them, I have better results. Nine of them, Brian has better results and 12 of them are equal. So by his own definition, he doesn't have the best biomarkers in the world. Now, I'm not saying that I have the best biomarkers in the world, but I actually have better biomarkers than Brian Johnson, which is to be expected because I'm much younger than Brian. So the healthiest person in the world will always be someone who is 18 or 19 years old due to biological aging, not someone who is 47 or 50 years old. Here's a quick summary of the biggest differences in our biomarkers. Brian has good metabolic health, but I have slightly better. Brian has slightly suboptimal kidney function. Mine is excellent. We have semi-equal liver values and lipids, but I have slightly better. Brian's fitness, like strength and VO2max, are pretty good for his age, but they're not elite by any means. Mine are significantly better and in the elite category for my age group. We both have normal hormone levels, nothing extraordinary there. And if you calculate Brian's pheno age, which is a measurement of biological age, then based on his biomarkers, his pheno age is 8.81 years lower than his chronological age, whereas for me, it's 18.5 years lower. I run through all the biomarkers on my Twitter page and YouTube channel. Check it out there.